Chissà quante volte avete sognato. Who knows how many times have you dreamed of a big boat, but then you've had to yield to reason. A proposito di grandezza, la barca che proviamo oggi si chiama Z35. And speaking of size, the boat that we will try today is called Z35, and its name might suggest that it's 35 feet, or 10 and a half meters. But actually, it's longer, 11 and a half, and is even bigger than it looks. How come? Non so se conoscete Aldo Cranchi e la sua filosofia. I don't know if you know of Aldo Cranky and his philosophy. His yard is well organized so as not to waste anything, whether time or materials, and the whole company is structured in order to optimize costs. This is an advantage for those looking for a bigger boat. The Z35 is much more than its name says. Stay and see. Let's start from the interior. There are two double cabins. The forward cabin is nice and high with a bed you can easily walk around, an elegant headboard and many storage compartments. The other cabin is located amidships. The bunks are separated, but if we put them together, we get a very large bed. There's a seat at the vanity and a large storage space under the window. I was not wrong when I said that this model is bigger than it looks because the dinette converts into a berth for two. Right in front of the kitchen, which is equipped with a refrigerator, a stove, a sink and these cupboards, containers intended specifically for the glasses and plates designed by Cranky. All of the spaces have a porthole and a window, even the bathroom. Here the space has been optimised to have a shower, separated by a partition. On deck, some details that can be missed at first glance show how successful Cranky has been in finding new solutions for utilizing spaces for the best convenience, comfort and safety. On the bow, the handrail is high, and from the deck there are stairs leading to the bridge. There is a solution adopted for motorboats, but why not also use it for a day cruiser? The kitchen is below deck, but outside you can barbecue. The cockpit is furnished to accommodate six people quite comfortably. If you want a nicer sunbathing area, you can lower the table and add a cushion. The ladies can also sunbathe near the captain. The roll bar serves as a place to hook the awnings that cover the cockpit for the night, and also to provide support for the antennas. And installed on the roll bar is the latest generation radar unit. See how it works. Observe the boys surrounding us in the canal. They can be found, even here on the screen, extremely clear to read. But how much does it cost? The question is important and the answer is interesting. Excluding tax, it's just a little more than €200,000. You don't have to rack your brains choosing the right engine. The builders have already done that. There are two Volvo Penta D4 diesel engines with 260 horsepower each. Siccome è una grande barca, ha bisogno anche di essere comandata. Since it's a large boat, it also needs to be properly controlled. So when departing, we accelerate, we keep the trim completely down and lower the interceptor a bit. In this way, we achieve planing faster and we can maintain a lower planing speed, which is useful for when we might find ourselves in difficult conditions at sea. Today, fortunately, the weather is beautiful and the sea is very calm. It is pleasant to drive because it's very gentle and has a low minimum planing speed, around 13 knots. But now I'll try to find it precisely. I pull back a bit on the throttle, check the angle of incidence and look at the wake. No, I think I can still reduce my minimum speed. Well, this is the real minimum planing speed of the hull. 10 knots, quite low. Una 
Una volta raggiunta un'andatura di crociera intorno ai 20 nodi si possono togliere un po' di Once you reach a cruising speed of around 20 knots, you can pull the flap or reduce the trim or the interceptor. In short, any system you use and however you call it, the effect is the same. If they are lowered, the bow lowers and the boat slows down. Removing everything also improves consumption. At a speed of 20 knots, consumption is around 45 litres an hour. If you want to do some consumption calculations for your cruise, you can say that at 27 knots it's enough to have 60 litres an hour, and that is a nice speed, if you can cruise at 27 miles an hour. When changing speed, it is always important to adjust the flaps to optimize performance. As you become accustomed to doing this, you will become a real captain. On to 3,200 RPM, still cruising speed. Our speed is 30 knots, equivalent to 35 miles per hour. It is a high cruising speed with two 260 horsepower engines. But it's not enough. This boat does more. More gas. Raise the flaps. Let's remove them completely. It was time. Maximum speed at 34 knots, which is 39 miles an hour, or just over. But at this speed, what if we make a hard turn? Well, the gravitational acceleration climbs. But watch how the boat holds its course. It doesn't have to correct it. The turn remains as I set it. The slamming is minimal and therefore it doesn't affect the crew, even if I make a sudden change in course. If now you are getting the desire to try this boat, the Z35 Cranky, you simply have to come to San Giorgio di Nagaro, between Trieste and Venice, whenever you want, because the Marine Test Center, Italo Monzino of Cranky Shipyard, is open 365 days a year.